Uhuhu, I'm Trian Ninja Han. I write web fiction and I do animations, like the intro you are going to see now. This series is about copying books. I want to advance my level in writing. I want to become a better writer and better author. A friend suggested to me that you can learn a lot by copying classics. He is a composer and he said that composers use old masterpieces to hone their craft and learn more about the artistry and the craftsmanship that go into them. And I know about uh, visual artists, painters that have done the same. They redrawn classical pictures. And I thought, uh, or I thought, and he suggested it, that uh, I try the same um, with books. Yeah, so I decided to make this series. I will copy some masterpiece. Masterpiece, what I see as a masterpiece. <laughs> and will analyze what I learned from it or what there is to learn from it or what impressed me, what didn't impress me or just what approach the author did take. I'm very much looking forward to what I'm going to learn and I take you on this journey with me. In this first episode we will choose a Book. All right, so let's browse my Audible for a good book which can be dictated to me. I'm still reading Newsletter Ninja, I'm still not finished yet. So stay tuned for my newsletter coming soon. Uh, Dao of Magic wasn't a page turner and I want to learn from someone who really can capture me and really just wanted to make the pages turn or never stop listening in case of an audio book. Um, maybe I should write this down. Then it should be a current. I mean, I love the Horatio Hornblower series, but I just don't know if it isn't too old. And I've got a Heinlein book as well, Starship Troopers. At the moment, that's for me a real contender. No, no. No, 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 no. The series from Michael Chatfield was very good. Mm. But it isn't the height of gripping, let's say this way. These are translated books from Russian. Do I want to uh, write a translation or copy a translation? I don't know. I stopped listening to this book, so it couldn't be that gripping. Mm. No, 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 no. Crime and Punishment, another translation and definitely not... Okay, Ernest Klein, I very much like his writing style. That's the author who wrote Ready Player One and I can recommend Amada as well. But it had its length. Mm, let's edit far on the bottom. Greek Myth, yeah. Robert Galbraith is the pseudonym of J.K. Rowling and I very much like the Cameron Strike series. But book four wasn't the best book, I would say. Maybe we'll see if I got some other books from Rowling in audio format. Oh, I hope I do. But I've got two credits, so I can buy at least one book or at least stupid but yeah JK Rowling that would be great. The Bobby Wars was alright as well. I stopped reading the series. This book is great. If you're depressed read this book. The world is much better than we think and why things are better than you think. This is really difficult, a difficult title for Germans to pronounce. This was the worst audiobook adaption I've ever listened to. I think there are words out there, but the MC has a Russian accent. I mean, the whole book is from the perspective of the MC and the Russian accent of the speaker wasn't that convincing, so it was fairly cheesy. Do you want to listen 13 hours to a fake Russian accent? 
that's the question and the answer is for 99 percent of the society no 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 oh i've got stephen king books i haven't read it uh, or listened to the dark tower 2 i like the dark tower 1 jim butcher that might be another good candidate but not this serious Definitely not Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. <laughs> oh dear. Butcher, butcher, butcher. I don't remember any of this. Oh, I loved Gail Carringer, but more her other works, not the Custard Protocol. Yeah, maybe one of the early Jim Butchers. Patricia Briggs is a good author as well. And you've got fight scenes in Urban Fantasy. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know I read this. I like the Good uh, Dragon series. Maybe there's another book out there I haven't read yet. Definitely not Peter Hamilton. I really like the series, but I have a problem with staying on point, and he is the master of not staying on point. I never read so much small talk all my life, but I liked it. Yeah, the Martian would be great, but no fight scenes. But there are action scenes. I mean, if he fights against the elements or another person, is it relevant? We write it on the list. I remember nothing about this, and I read three books of it, written in fire. I can't even say what genre it is. Oh, John Scalzi, another good candidate. There we go, Starship Troopers. It's still very much on the top of my list. Hmm, that was it. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's old. I mean, it's written in the 60s and the 50s. Dark Tower is not a new book as well. Honestly, these are my three candidates. I mean, I could buy a Harry Potter book. Maybe the first one. I don't like the first one the most. Maybe I like the third one the most. Or oh, Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire. I think Goblet of Fire is strong. So that would be the fourth one. But the series begins with the first. And I believe I can learn much about how to start a series from it. The Martian. And the Martian is multipoff. I dislike multipoff. With poff I mean POV point of view. Starship. Oh well, I own Starship Troopers, so let's just try it. Right. One. Come on, you apes. You want to live forever? Unknown platoon, Sergeant. Nineteen. Too fast, too fast, too fast. Stop, 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 stop. Oh shit. Yes. <laughs> oh no, you can't make it any slower. Shitty, shitty, shit. shit, shit. One. Come on, you apes. You want to live forever? Unknown platoon, Sergeant. 1918. I always get the shakes before I drop. I've had the injections, of course. The hypnotic preparation, and it stands to reason that I can't really be afraid. This doesn't work out. It's too fast. Oh. Okay, one more try. I always get the shakes before I drop. I've had the injections, of course. The hypnotic preparation, and it stands to reason that I can't really be afraid. The ship psychiatrist has checked my brain waves and asked me silly questions while I was asleep. And he tells me that it isn't fear. Okay, I think we can lay this approach to rest. Hmm. Let's open up Kindle. Okay, first, I've got uh, Starship Troopers on my Kindle as well. Good so far. Now I have more titles to choose from, but we started with Starship Troopers, so why not stay with it? What I like about it is that I have the punctation. Punctation. I can't even pronounce it, but you know, all the points and commas and semicolons and this kind of stuff. Alright, I should change the language to English because all the thingies 
hypnotic. I mean, alone the first paragraph is interesting to me because we Germans got always told that we use too much that, but here are many that's. Here's a that, here's a that. I mean, one little paragraph and two that's. Then we have this sign. It looks like a minus sign, but I don't know what it's called. But I heard that people don't use it anymore. That people use the semicolon. Yeah, but this might be workable. I have to turn around often because I only get the tiny paragraph. But besides from that, yeah, it's looking good. I think I will uh, continue for a while.